Welcome to the week of the test. Here's the plan for the week and then some pro tips to make it a successful week for you. So here's the basic basic plan for the week. On Monday, you're going to just, I'm going to go over what the week looks like. You're going to sort of make a plan for the week. You're going to set up your, both your virtual workspace, which hopefully you already did, and also your notebook, your table of contents. You're going to set up for the practice test. And then you'll start the practice test. You should have a little bit of time to do that. And hopefully you'll continue to work on that this afternoon. Now, for the Tuesday and Wednesday class, there's no surprises. You're going to have work time to work on the practice test and the extra credits, like all the study resources. So it's going to be available to you, and it's just a matter of how you use that time. And then Thursday, Friday class will be the test. And we're going to give you the whole period, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about time, right? Some of you will, but uh, most of you should be able to finish it in that period. But don't expect any additional work time on Thursday or Friday. So here is the module for the week. So hopefully you already set up your virtual workspace with your four tabs. Okay, this is the plan for the week right here. Next, you're going to set up your notebook. You're just going to update your table of contents, and you're going to set up the questions for the practice test. And what you'll notice is that when you set up the questions for the practice test, it looks exactly the same as when you set up the questions for the test. Okay, so you actually have a huge advantage. If you do the practice test and you show all your work, literally when you're working on the test, you'll be like, oh, number three, okay, that's going to be similar to number three on the practice test. And you'll just flip and you'll look at your work and you'll say like, oh, okay, this is how I do it. I just divide on both sides or whatever the situation is. Okay, so once you set up your notebook for the practice test and you have like the space for all the problems, you'll go ahead and open the practice test. When you open the practice test, you sort of, you have like one of two options, right? One, you might look at it and be like, oh, I know all of this and you'll just do it. And the other is like, oh, I don't know all of this. I need some support, right? And then that's where you'll choose which extra credit you want to take advantage of. Now, you can earn a maximum of 10 points. So you can't do all the extra credit because you can see that there's more than 10 points available, okay? But what you'll do is if you are like, oh, I don't really know all this, you'll do these extra credit assignments because these are review, right? And you can notice like, if you're struggling with questions two through nine on the practice test, this is the review you would do. If you're like stuck on question 10, this is the review you would do. So you can kind of see which reviews to work on. Okay, but you would basically use these reviews if you kind of need the review. And then if you're like, no, I know all this, I'm good, um, then you can go ahead and challenge yourself and learn something new, right? Which in a regular year, we would all be learning this, but this is not a regular year. Um, but if you don't need these reviews, like go ahead and take on the challenge, okay? Both of them are about the same amount of work, um, whether you do other reviews or you do the challenge. It's just a matter of what's going to work best for you, okay? And then notice after... Um, you work on the practice test and you do all the extra credit, whatever that you want. You can see that the notebook's set up for the test. And like I said, it's exactly the same as the practice test. It's just going to be like, you know, different, a different page numbers in your notebook, but it's the same setup. And then the test will be um, in class, all right, on Friday or Thursday. Now, look, here's the most important pro tip. You get to use your notebook on the test. So if you use your notebook right, you're going to get an amazing score. Okay, the practice test has similar questions in the same order as the test. So complete the practice test, show all your work, and then you'll have that as a model for the test. The extra credit reviews, which you're going to do in your notebook, they're also similar to the test questions. So if you're feeling stressed about the test, the pathway here is to make really good use of your notebook this week, and then you're going to basically be able to just cheat your way to an amazing score in the test, right? And, and that's fine. So listen, the other piece is you're going to have all of Tuesday and Wednesday's class. You're going to have an hour and 15 minutes to work. But the thing is, is that if you're just spending Wednesday's class, Tuesday and Wednesday's class kind of like starting the practice test and sort of messing around, you don't really know what you're doing, it, it's not going to be the, the best use of that time. The, the path to success is finishing the practice test in class on Tuesday and Wednesday. So you can be like, oh, I got this. I understand all of it. So that means, especially if you've been struggling, that you might have to put in a little bit of work beforehand, right? So you got to start the practice test, make a little bit of progress on it. If you're like, oh, crap, I really don't understand this question, then you should, you know, do some of the extra credit reviews. Come in so that you're ready to, on that Tuesday, Wednesday class, whichever day you have it, that you're like, oh, I got this. Like, this is fine. And you don't feel that anxiety right before the test, okay? Um, you'll do better on the test if you can reduce your anxiety early in the week because the test isn't changing. The test, like, if you prepare for it early in the week, you're going to be okay when you get to it later in the week. So for today, please just make sure you inform your family of the test, okay, that you need that focus workspace. You're going to take a look at the practice test, and you're going to sort of make a decision, right? Like, are you going to need the review extra credits? Or you're like, no, I got this. I'm going to take on the challenge. Um, and then just sort of lay out a plan for yourself, right? Maybe just write down a plan and, and stick to it, right? If you plan to attend tutoring, we have tutoring. Um, I'll show you where we have tutoring. Mr. Gain and I have office hours on Tuesday and Friday from 1.30 to 2.30. But there's also tutoring available from 1.30 to 3.30, Tuesday through Friday with our college tutors, and they are awesome.
Okay, and you can find all of this on the homepage of the Canvas course. And then, of course, you have this paper tutoring service that's 24-7. Okay, I would, I would encourage you to take advantage of the college tutors. It's just like, it's like a better interface than the, the paper tutoring service. Um, but, of course, if you have a couple quick questions and it's late at night, that paper tutoring service is there. If you think you're going to need more than an hour on the test, that is not a problem. There's no penalty. It is totally okay. Um, but the only time that you can have that extra time is afternoon the test at 2 p.m., Okay, and I know I said last week 1.30, but um, have, we have a couple meetings that we need to be in. So um, first and third period, you're taking the test on Thursday. So if you want extra time, please make sure that you're available Thursday at 2 p.m. Okay, second and fourth, Friday at 2 p.m. All right, so just if you think like, oh, man, I always need extra time on math tests, it's fine. It's not a big deal, but just make sure you're available at 2 p.m. that day. Now, finally, I want to show you something in Canvas. You can check your grades in Canvas and see how your grades impacted by certain assignments. Let me show you how. Okay, so if I go here and I'm in my test student grade. So now let's say I have, I have a 79.77. Okay, so I have a C plus right now. Um, I'm doing okay, but I could be doing a little better, right? We really want like A's and B's are good. So I want to say like, okay, I'm going to work really hard. I'm going to go to tutoring if I need to. I'm going to get this practice test done and I'm going to get a perfect score on it. That's my plan for the week, right? Like I'm going to make it happen. Now for me, I'm not ready for that challenge. And look, watch, see my grade changed. If I get a perfect score in the practice test, look. I can enter in a score. These are called what if scores. Okay. So look, my grade just went up a little bit. If I got a perfect score in the practice test, my grade's going to go up a little bit. Now I'm also going to do the extra credits. I'm going to do all the reviews. I'm like, look, I'm going to, I'm going to take care of business this week. I'm going to do all these reviews. So each of them are worth two points. That's going to be a total of 10 points extra credit. Okay. So look at where my grade is right now. I just brought my grade up like what? Seven points, right? Just by working hard this week. Now, what I want to show you is that I, I might think to myself, like, I'm going to get a 20 out of 20 on the unit test. I'm going to do amazing, right? And that would be great. And look, that brings up your grade, another couple of points. So that's great news. But what I want to show you is that I don't want you to be stressed about every single question on the unit test, right? Like if you were to get a 15 out of 20 on the unit test, which is a C, right? It doesn't, it doesn't like destroy your grade. You're not now failing the class, right? Like, yeah, obviously your grade is higher if you get a higher grade on the unit test. That's not and this is, sorry, actually this, it doesn't go down that much. So here, let me, let me show you again. I had by mistake put a zero here. See, look, if I got a 20 on the unit test, let me show you. I now have a 88%, which is awesome, right? You went from a C plus to a B plus in one week. But you know what? That would be great if you could do it. But let's say you only get a C on the unit test because you struggle on a few questions. Look, you're still at an 85, 86. So you still went from a C plus to a B in a week. So you're good. If you work hard this week, your grade is going to be fine. Okay. And I don't want you to stress so much about this unit test. This is, this is only, you only get 15 out of the 20 questions wrong. So that means you look at five questions and you're like, Oh, I don't know. And you get them wrong. Okay. So just, this is a, a great tool to use so that you can check your grade and just kind of see how it's impacted. Okay. And that's what you do is you just go into grades in Canvas and you're, and it's um, the what if score is the name of it. Okay. And then look, if I revert to actual score, this is, I actually have a 0%. This is my test student. Womp womp.